It is time. Time for me to hang out with my favorite people on planet Earth. The absolute best people. The cream of the crop. And I'll do that right after the stream. In the meantime... Hello chat! Welcome to Wednesday Wiano. It's where we Wiano on Wednesday. You know how it is. You know how it be. My living room, thank you for the raid, oh my goodness. I don't know if we've ever gotten a raid so quickly before. Thank you very much, how was your stream, my friend? Also, Mr. Horn with the 10 months. And Fire Chip with the 9, appreciate it, everyone. How's it going, everyone? Hello, hello. Yeah, what a, what a quick raid. I wasn't even on screen yet. <laughs> It was good. Gotcha. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, eat the whole thing. What's up? Welcome. Welcome. How you doing? Been listening to your interview with Levi Clay. Oh, nice. Uh, how have you been liking it so far? That was a lot of fun, that interview. I don't know if we have a command for that, but if those of you who are interested want to watch it, Feel free. Maybe we do it. We do. Thank you, Mr. Whale. How are the mods today? Can we get some mod love? All right, we got uh, Karuna. Karuna Karuma. What's up? Oh, Kam Kamura. That's a tongue twister. Pardon me for mispronouncing that. Boop the snoot. Back in the chat, we got Sue. Hello, Sue. Basketball Sue. Welcome back. <laughs> Hope you've been having a good week. Doing good, doing good. Let's go, let's go. I'd love to hear that. How are you, boss? I'm doing well. Fantastic day. Good to be here, good to be alive. Good to be alive and good to be here. We also got Dude Man. Thank you for the seven months. Totally come if you did a live show. Yo, I appreciate that. You know what? I might take you up on that one day. Now that you've offered. <laughs> Denise, thank you for the three uh, gifting a sub to my living room for their third month. Sorry, that's always confusing to me. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Playing lots of basketball? I knew it. I knew it. Girl without tattoo, hello. Welcome. I finally got, I ordered an authentic chef hat from Amazon, so that when we have some spicy loops, I can officially cook. You know, if we're gonna cook, we gotta dress the part, so. That came in today. It's like much higher quality than I thought it would be. So that's kinda cool. Thanks for the hype train, guys. Appreciate you very much. Can't cook without the hat. You could try, but you won't succeed. Oh, thank you for the hype train again, everyone. I appreciate that. We got Ruthless with the two months saying, let him cook. It's time. It's time. The setup is insane. It's a pretty wild setup. I'm not going to lie. I've accumulated it over many, many years. And then sometimes I look around in this studio and I'm like, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot. A lot of lights, a lot of blinky things, a lot of knobs. One of these days, I'm going to count all the buttons. But it's funny. At night, when I turn the studio off, there are still so many lights going on. It looks like a spaceship in here. I'll have to take a picture if it'll even show up appropriately, but it's pretty cool. Too much stuff. Maybe. I do use it all, though, so maybe not. You know, it's funny. The electric bill is ridiculously low. I think because a lot of the stuff here isn't really, it's not too crazy. You know, it doesn't eat up a lot of electricity. So, no, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Ba -dum, ba -dum. LEDs, baby. We got Xavier's finest in the chat. What's up, Mr. Smooths? Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
Leland, hope you're doing well. Uh, do you power it down at night? Most, mostly everything. Yeah, mostly everything. I put my com both my computers on in sleep mode. And everything else is pretty much off. Cameras are off. Yeah, there's not really anything that I leave on. Except, like, a mixer. Just certain things that, like, the only way to unplug it would be... The only way to turn it off would be to unplug it, so... It, it takes virtually next to nothing to keep on, you know? <laughs> things like that. Can you see the fit? Not much of a fit. I'm wearing a green shirt and I'm wearing pants, shorts that I wore to the gym. So this, this is the fit today, folks. I do like this color a lot, though. But that's it. Nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Doing okay. Uh, gastro. Oh, oh. Uh, did an 11 4 Eleven four trip, like time signature. Eleven four trip, kept me going. Or date. I'm thinking like November fourth. I'm assuming you're talking about a time signature. Did it take long for you to get good at looping? I'm still working on it, but I've been doing it now for probably four years. Also, Andrew, welcome back. Thank you for 44 months. I think that is the longest possible time that somebody could be subscribed to me. 44 months. Can we get some ends in the chat for Andrew? Thank you very much for being around for so long, man. I really do appreciate that. We got Woody gifting a sub to JMO Piano. Handy tech with the 14 months. Thank you, everyone. Oh, you did a loop in 11.4. Very nice. Very nice. Jonathan Ong. Yeah, Jonathan Ong's studio is crazy. One of the only studios that are <laughs> more insane than mine. Uh, he has like 50,000 keyboards. I also really like, uh, I really like autopilot setup too. If you all know him. Great streamer. Awesome setup. Super nice dude. All three of us are basically living in spaceships at this point. First keyboard I got was uh, some Casio, like one of the ones where the keys light up red when you press them. I forget the, the, the name, but it's like 150 bucks, you know? Yeah, I love autopilot setup. That guy's awesome. Uh, well, great to have you here today, chat. I don't really have any new updates, except I do have a new video coming out this weekend, but it's really the video that was out last weekend that got blocked. So, but it was blocked after like two days, so I still think a lot of people hadn't seen it. So, uh, if you have seen it, please watch it again. Do me that huge favor. It'll be out Saturday. And then, uh, let's see. The VOD channel's up to date. And I also released a new video on the Highlights channel today. So if you all want to check that out, I just put it in the chat. And it is called Firewall, a very, very Hans Zimmer-esque loop. And this one was a lot of fun. I know chat really liked this one a lot, too. So I hope you all enjoy that. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give the video a like. Do all the, do all the, whatever. You can do the stuff. Do all the stuff. <sighs> yeah, I appreciate it. Courtesy of Laura. Taking the liberty of cutting these out of the VODs for me, so... Big shoutouts to Laura. Can we get some L's in the chat, please? Pretty much all of these have been cut by her, so... If you've enjoyed the Highlights channel, you better, you better put some L's in that chat. Thank you. <clears throat> this is such a banger song. It's not gonna show up in the VOD, which is hilarious. So good. What's up, JF? How is it going? Oh, you watched you watched the six hour fundraising VOD? You watched the whole thing? Oh my goodness. What what a fun time that was. What a fun stream. If y'all want to check that out, that is on the VODs channel. So much fun.
It was a fun stream. I'm currently enjoying some coffee chat. And then after that, we'll warm up a little bit. I'm not sure what we're going to do today. Maybe we'll take some chat live learns. What is this? We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a loop or two. Who on earth knows? Not me. Not me. Also, we're already getting pretty close to the Partner Plus program for this month. That's kind of cool. Thank you, everyone who's been subscribing with Tier 1. Super appreciated. That'll be so cool if we can manage to get into the program in October, because that will up my split. The coffee warmer is great, by the way, yes. I don't really use it in my studio much. I more use that in my kitchen, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's great. It's great. I find that when I stream... I drink my liquid so quickly that I don't need the warmer, but oh, it's a lifesaver in the morning because a lot of times I like to read. So I, I sort of like sip slowly and while I read. So it's actually really nice. Great gift. Great gift. Yeah, that was that, that was a very thoughtful gift. I do love that. Oh. Yeah, so we might do some learns of the living vari of a variety, variation. Who knows? Um, that's probably what we'll do. We'll do a few of those. Maybe do some loops. Uh, sorry, chat, give me one sec. I do want to try, if I have the time this month, to get some channel point stuff set up. I uh, just don't know if I'll be able to, but I know I mentioned that the other day, yesterday. <laughs> but it'd be cool to get some of those set up. It'd be cool to get some of those set up, for sure. So I am starting to work on that after four years. <laughs> we'll get there, baby. We'll get there. Do, do, do. Mm -mm. What's up, Aaron? How are you? Welcome back. Thank you for seven months, Aaron. Uh, I can burp on command. Yes. Coming soon, trademark. Exactly. Ooh. Oh. What'd you guys do today? Tell me about your day. Yo, JF, thank you for the 10 bucks. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. This clashes with the music. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. People worked. Six hour meeting. Oh, my goodness. That's a long meeting. Working, 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 working. Studied. Got exams. Worked, worked, worked. Wow, everyone worked today. You all should just quit. Quit and hang out with me. Cleaned your yard. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, the time for me is right up here. Ooh, changed the spark plug. Very nice. I did quit. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Goofed around. Five hour termination of parental rights trial. Hmm. Everyone's got their own thing that they do. Who am I to judge? Pull day in the gym. Very nice. Very nice. I did legs today. A medium leg day. Nothing too wild because I did heavy legs three days ago. Four days ago. Yeah. So some medium leggage today. Trained those babies. Uh, 
Oh, we got, uh, is that P Potvin? What's up, Potvin? I want to say thank you. Started watching your videos last year, and because of you, I've started to learn piano with a teacher to learn by ear. Let's go, chat. We got another one. We got another one. We got another sucker in the chat. One step closer to getting everyone on earth to play piano. I love that. I hope the process has been fun so far. Playing by ear is very rewarding. Ah, all right.
a little bit of Interstellar. We got Bitplex. Thank you for the three months. Freak TV casting with the six months. Welcome back. And hey, BS with the bits. Thanks for the five bits. Super fun stuff. I'm seeing a lot of new people in chat. Hello, everyone. Uh, I started learning piano a few months ago because of an old video of yours from 10 years ago. Zero no Tsukaima. Oh, dude. Yes, yes. Uh, how the heck? Yeah, that's a that's a good song, good song, good song. Um, let me scroll up a bit. I feel like I, there were some questions in the chat um, that I totally missed because I was playing. I don't even know if I can scroll up that high. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Huh. So many new people in chat. Hello, everyone. Do 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 do. Huh, maybe I was just seeing things. Uh, well, if you're new here, I do have a, a new video coming out this weekend on the main channel. It's not really like brand new because it was out last weekend for two days, but then it got blocked. Um, so I'm re-releasing it this weekend um, with necessary edits so it won't be blocked. So yeah, please check it out. It'll be out on Saturday. I don't, am I streaming this Saturday? I don't think I am. Or at least I don't have it scheduled. Yeah, because there's a possibility that I have a thing, so I can't, I can't, like, yeah. Friday, Friday, yeah, yeah, today and then Friday, yeah. We'll see, never say never. There was a new one yesterday. Yeah, dude, it got, it got blocked. It, there was a new video, yeah, and it's still currently blocked, but don't worry, we've already talked that into the ground. Um, the good news is it'll be up this Saturday and it will stay up. So we love that. I, I like when my videos stay up. So look forward to that. Um, it was a fun one too. We did some really cool, there's some cool requests in there. So thank you. Uh, Homecoming by Kanye discovered a journey by you know oh Inaldi forget how to pronounce his name that's cool that's cool yeah listen to as much music as you can definitely 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 my favorite major or minor mode oh gosh uh, Phrygian harmonic is a favorite mode of mine or harmonic Phrygian I use that a lot that's what uh, through the dunes is in harmonic phrygian it's beautiful uh what's your second channel here i'll put all three of my channels i have my main channel my highlights channel and my vod channel so three channels in total another way you can get there if you want is if you go to my main channel on youtube uh there's a channels tab and if you click on that then you'll see the other two channels here VODs, which is it's like an archive of all of my Twitch streams, and then highlights, which is tons of loops, all sorts of stuff on here, even some piano stuff, uh, a relaxing version of Through the Fire and Flames. I forgot I uploaded this. Yeah, it's cool stuff, some improv. Yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, we got a lot of subscribers this month on the channel, which was kind of cool. I think because a few of the videos 
uh, did really well. They got caught in the algorithm. Specifically this one, and there was another one, this one. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think a lot of people who watch my main channel really love the loops, and it's it's so hard to get somebody to stay for a loop on Omegle. So I feel like this is a really nice channel for those people who like the loops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. <sighs> Let's go. Then the highlights channel is for you, my friend. Through the through the dunes, better than Tipsy Turvy Tavern. I could dig that. I could dig that. Through the dunes is a lot of fun to play. I think I through the dunes might be more fun to play for me. Although I don't know, because Tipsy Turvy is also really fun. I just I don't remember that. I don't remember how to play that because that's I haven't played that in years. And that the the types of pieces that are in that piano collection, it's, it's not something where I could just like, oh yeah, I remember. It's like, I'd have to go in and study it like a classical piece, because yeah, it's, all those pieces took a long time to compose. But yeah, it's, uh, I remember this part. fun both of those are fun but i'm a little biased because harmonic phrygian is my favorite mode so it's like and plus i got to play with a bunch of polyrhythms It's like too much fun to play. Uh, I watched your video from 12 years ago with you and your friend dancing. You guys still friends? Yeah, that's, um, uh, his name is Nick. He's sometimes in chat. His uh, tag is, what's his username? Rhyth Rhythms in, I think. Occasionally he pops in. Oh, the waves etude? Heck yeah. Uh, I do write a lot, yeah. I have two PCs. This one I mainly use for streaming because PC is much better for streaming. With OBS, it just works nicer with OBS. Mac is a nightmare, or at least it used to be when trying to work with OBS and stream elements and all that. Um, it's also really nice to, because I run some VSTs from that computer over here. So it's essentially routing some audio stuff over here, and that lightens the load on the CPU on the PC, which is awesome. And it's nice to compartmentalize it. Like in my mind, I'm here for streaming and meetings and stuff, and then I do like a lot of compositional stuff, emails, admin stuff on that computer. And that, that sort of mentally keeps things separate, which is cool. Whoa. Tips on being comfortable while playing for hours. My shoulders always hurt. Um, I would have to see you. I would have to see you what you're doing, but check to see if your shoulders are like tensed up when you're playing. Because I've had a lot of students where when they start playing something that's difficult for them or that they're not familiar with, their shoulders go from here and they start raising up. And then, you know, you play like this for 20 minutes. Um, could be a variety of things. Check your seat height. You know, you don't want to be sitting too low. You don't want to be sitting too high. It's really hard to say unless I see a picture or a video of you playing, you know? Ever give up on learning a song? Um, I, I, I prefer the term shelving it. There are songs that I've played in the past, like classical stuff in high school and college, that, um, you know, try out for a little bit, but having teachers is really helpful. You try it, and then you get as good as you can at it, but there comes a point where you want to shelve it, which means you just put it aside and then you'll pick it up later on, you know?
But yes, I'm a quitter. Could be posture too. Hard to say. You know, a lot of people when they play piano, they're like they're shrimps. Yeah. I would heavily advise not to play like this. I mean, what am I, a jazz pianist? Charlie it's one of the fir I learned this very early in the piano this is one of the first things I learned but it was like the Anyways, chat. Um, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot about that. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's an A flat major.
Brabudududup. That's a Tico Tico no Fuba, I believe. I've always wanted to learn that. I just started learning that uh, last night. I don't know how I have it that speed already. But yeah, it's a cool one. I've wanted to learn that for for ages. Yeah, last night I found, uh, I just looked at the sheet music because I had some time and I was like, me, let me just start learning this. Not too bad, not too bad. It's like a third section. Outside of streaming and recording, how much time do you spend practicing? Depends. Not too much because, you know, I'm 30 and I, I wish I could have time to just practice as much as I did in university, but ain't no practicing seven hours a day for me. But I still I still find time most days to practice. But the duration uh, varies greatly. <clears throat> Maturity. I guess with age and maturity, you can be more effective at times with how you decide to practice. Yeah, especially, I think if you're taught how to practice, then you have a humongous advantage. Humongous advantage. That's probably the most valuable thing I learned at an early age from my first drum teacher is how to practice, like how to actually practice and how to be patient and disciplined. Those three things, I mean, you could translate that to anything you do. And man. So I don't think it's just a matter of practicing. It's like what you do during your practicing session, right? How you optimize it. Uh, much new music. I'm always listening to new stuff, whether it be because of my videos that I do or just, <clears throat> you know, I guess that's what I'm really trying to say here today. <laughs> hmm. YouTube videos on how tips for piano playing. I would consider putting that on like my highlights channel, but probably not my main channel. Yeah, I do warm ups before practicing for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, practice makes perfect. I remember one of my teachers said that perfect practice makes perfect. Practice doesn't make perfect. It's like, that's good. I'm going to steal that. A top tip for practicing, use a metronome. The metronome is your best friend. If you have a best friend, I want you to call them and tell them that you can't be friends anymore because you have a new best friend and it's the metronome. They'll understand. Mm -hmm. 
Probably a dumb question. Uh, I don't have any kids that I know of, no. Uh, mine drain every free time I have, and I wish I could practice more. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Having children is definitely, definitely time consuming. But I think what you should do is just call your children and tell them that you have a new child, and it's a metronome. They'll understand. Yeah, I don't think I have it anymore, but I used to have one of those metro, like, you know, with the actual thingy. Metronome, I don't know what it's called. Metronome with thingy. Maybe it'll come up. It's like the weight. Yeah, there it is. You know, one of, one of, one of these guys. These are awesome. But you certainly, you certainly don't need... They have apps. You know, you can just get an app. They all do the same thing. Um, I think I might have had one that was more like this. Yeah. But it's funny because I remember that I dropped it when I moved. And it was it, it broke in a weird way to where the metronome was. Something happened with the weight on the bottom here. And it, it would get all lopsided. So instead of like a. It would be like. It was like a like a jazz metronome, and I figured, man, I I could I could sell that I could sell that and make millions. Never got around to it yet. But anyways, yeah, get a metronome. Highly recommend. Jokes aside. Yeah, loop stations have them. Any, like most workstations, even this workstation has one. Um, you can probably hear that. So, very useful for practicing skill. Because a lot of times when you're practicing, you don't realize if you're speeding up or slowing down because you're so focused on actually playing. Like if you're playing a scale, like you might think that you're perfectly in time, but you could be all over the place. You know, there could be a spot where you're really not as polished as you should be. So you subtly slow down a little bit. For example, I'll, I'll exaggerate it like. Right, and if you're so focused on it, you might be like, yeah, I got my C major scale down, but it's like, no, 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 no. It's, uh, you're worthless, you know? As my teacher would say, you're worthless, Frank, and you're ugly and stupid. Go again. Huh, did I say that out loud? I was kidding. Oh my gosh, we got we got a raid. We got a raid from uh, Ky Kyra IRL or Kiara. Oh my gosh, I always I always forget. I'm so sorry, I mispronounced your name. Why? Well, it's fifty fifty. I got it right one of the times, most likely. Regardless, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you had a great stream. What'd you do? I'm assuming something IRL. Close enough. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Um, also, we got. I didn't see this, but 50 bits coming in from, I mean, 50 bits. What am I talking about? $50, 50 Benjis from Dave UK 50 chilling with the legend after work. Uh, something relaxing would be great. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Also, boop the snoot. Thank you for the three. We gambled. I lost. Oh, man. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. I hope you didn't lose too much. And I'll play you something in honor of you losing all of your money. And it doubles as being something relaxing for Dave. Thanks again for the 50, man.
a little bit of a s relaxing improv for uh, Kiara and Dave, both of you. It's nice. Uh, yo, we got slap happy. Frank, I really need to work on my loud soft. I play on a Roland FP10. And when I play any other piano, I tend to play way too loudly, especially when I switch to a Ranger keyboard, which is may way more sensitive. Any tips on how hard I f finger my piano? Hmm. Yeah, you do want to be gentle, for sure. Hmm. Well, I think one thing you can do, I remember an exercise I used to do uh, with scales. I, I don't know what level you're at in piano, but, you know, you can do, I would, my teacher would give me like a three octave scale, but each octave I would have to change dynamics. So, so it would be like piano, mezzo forte, and forte, for example, like. Maybe something like that could be helpful. I think even even just playing chords and trying to break it up into three or four different dynamics is super helpful, you know. Uh, also, you know, again, I, I don't know. I'd have to see you play, but I think a lot of students tend to when they hit the keys, they tend to like push the keys down like like a like a pushing motion. But, you know, a lot of try to think of it as you're just dropping the weight of your arms on the keys. Right? It's not so much that it's more of a mental thing. It's not so much that I'm pushing my hands down. I'm just let I'm controlling the speed at which the weight of my arm falls. And to play louder, you just let your hand and arm drop quicker. That makes sense. Yo, we got uh, Lele Tastic with the five bucks. Thank you so much for the five. Um, <clears throat> hey, Frank, first would like to ask how your day is going. My day is going amazingly. Thank you for asking. <clears throat> Second, I'm proud to say I've been following you for years. Uh, absolutely adore everything about you and what you do. You're incredible. I appreciate it. To end this off, do you know Light of the Seven theme from Game of Thrones? I don't think I do, actually. Is that the one that's like... I never actually learned that one, but it sounds vaguely familiar. I don't know if that is that just like the intro, but I don't remember anything after that. Uh, but thank you so much for the kind message and for the five bucks. I mean, I guess I play a little bit of it, I suppose, if that, if that counts. I really don't know. That's the only part I heard, so I'll just do some improv on that. Here we go.
dum 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 The way you inserted the main theme the same way. Did, did he do that? Did he do the, uh... It just seemed like we're in C minor, so it seemed like an obvious thing to, to, to pop in, you know? It's, plus, it's a very, very simple motif that can basically go anywhere. He copied me. I'll be, he'll be hearing from my lawyer. Can somebody be my lawyer? We got any lawyers in chat? Thank you, Mr. Whale. Could be a lawyer, but is just a viewer. Uh, I mean, it checks out with your username. I like, it's a nice motif, though. Uh, even just this, just the, just tense. All right, screw it. I'ma steal it. I'ma give it the old yoink.
All right, that was some uh, Game, of, Game of Thrones. What do we do? We did. I guess it was kind of. What is that? Light of Seven? Light of Seven? Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dude! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Chat! Ow. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, that is that is such a huge number. Thank you so much. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, I got I gotta I gotta say thank you. I gotta say thank you appropriately. Chat, if that is your real name, we need some M's in the chat for that. That is like one of the craziest things ever. I didn't see that. Uh, math, that's me with a hundred gifted and then $500. Dude, you didn't have to do that. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support like that. Honestly, I think that might actually cover my Chipotle for the for the night for the whole night because I got extra guac. Wow. Thank you very, 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 very much. That is just too much money. Too much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, math. That's me. Chat, please. Some M's. More M's in the chat. That is like instant VIP status of the stream. Good gracious. <sighs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you again, man. Uh, also, uh, we got Scumpf with the five months. Welcome back. And Hannah, thank you so much for the raid. I missed that too. That just happened now. Okay, good. I'm not too far behind. Hannah, how was your stream? <laughs> yeah, you were... <laughs> Pretty much math, that's me, is basically the sponsor of today's stream. <laughs> Single-handedly sponsored the stream. <laughs> I don't even know if they're here. I don't, they, they might not be in chat, just lurking. But my goodness, much appreciated. I'm so glad you like the, uh, the YouTube videos. <sighs> the one sponsored by math, that's good. I like that. Uh, it was great, thanks. Probably one of my favorite streams. Oh, how come? Had I won the Mega Million, I would have given you lots of money, but I didn't. Sorry. That's okay, Sue. You can just give me what you got. No. No worries. No worries. Keep your money, my friend. Just improv-wise, felt super inspired. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Sometimes I lurk in your stream. A lot of times when I'm eating lunch or breakfast, I'll just, like, hop on Twitch and just cycle through a bunch of music streams I'll just, for, like, five, ten minutes. Be like, right, what are they up to? What are they up to? What are they up to? And just listen a little bit. It's a lot of fun. So sometimes I'll, like, peek in and just lurk and see what's up. Thank you, Frank Tedesco fan. Uh, Lele Tastic, thank you for the tier one. That does get added towards the Partner Plus program, which we are making our way towards. Super exciting. Gosh, I'm just, I'm still just speechless at math. We'll definitely call this VOD the one sponsored by math, because I feel like that's, that's really funny. Also, Mr. Whale, thank you for gifting a sub to Hannah. Too kind. Mod of the minute. All right, chat. So we just did a loop, spontaneous loop of uh, some of a, a theme from Light of Seven. It's like doubly augmented. Fun stuff. Oh, I love getting that in there. A little Neapolitan. Mwah, that is chef's kiss. 
Can't stay, but looks like things are going well over here. Hope you have a great rest of your stream. Thank you, Hannah. Thanks for popping in, sending your crew here. Uh, Hannah, when are you streaming next? When can we all catch you? If you know. Um, chat, hope you enjoyed that loop. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. Also, I'm going to run two minutes of ads because I'm supposed to do that. So there we go. Are oh, you just hearing the vocoder? Yeah, what do we have? We have track one. Just that. That's all I had on that, huh? Oh, I forgot about that. What did I do? It was like... That's kind of fun. Ramen Noodle Javity would be proud. Stinks. Oh, wait, so they can't hear what we're saying. That's funny. All right, chat, pretend to laugh so that they feel like they're missing out on so much fun. <laughs> like, no, what's happening in stream? What's happening in stream? I'll like flail my arms a little bit. They're gonna be like, no, no, I'm missing it all. That's what you get for not being a sub. Uh, highlights channel? Uh, I'm not sure, Laura. I mean, we can pop it in there for now, but I don't really know at this moment. Why is everyone laughing? Oh my gosh, you just missed the funniest thing it, it was so funny. It was so funny. I can't even remember. Oh, my goodness. And it'll never happen again. That's the crazy part. Oh, oh I'm in stitches. Anyways, chat. Thanks for watching. Now I got to use the bathroom. I'll be back in two minutes. Chat, stretch your legs, grab some water, and uh, please fix your posture, Dave UK. You look like a shrimp. Be back in a sec. Yeah, I'm going to edit the funny bit out of the VOD, too, so you won't be able to watch it. Okay, be back in a sec. Bye!
Oh, we are back, baby! Chat, I got a question for you. Uh, maybe mods can make a poll. If they wouldn't mind. Uh, waffles or pancakes? I ask because I just recently got a mini waffle maker. And it's just been the highlight of my mornings. Because I got this protein waffle mix. Oh, oh, it's so good. So good. Waffles, waffles. Okay, I knew we had a smart chat. And you can just ban anyone who says pancakes for sure. The Kodak brand? I don't know. It's like a mini, mini waffle maker. I saw it at Walmart and I was like, I, oh yeah, uh, Dash? Is this it? I don't remember the brand, but the only thing is I, I think I should have got the regular size waffle maker because I have to make individual ones and it kind of takes a long time. But the good news is I'm hungry by the time they're made. So that's cool. Oh, like this. I should have got the, the four. I think the brand I got is called Dash. But I, I think I should have got. Be cool to have a, a version. Uh, we should have a waffle maker with my logo. It makes a waffle in the shape of my logo. I, oh, actually, no, be really cool. Uh, this, this must exist already because it's too good of an idea not to. A piano waffle maker. Gotta have it, you know, just like one octave. It's like a square. Has to exist. Piano waffle maker. I don't see it on Amazon. Let me see. It's gotta exist, right? That's too that's too easy of an idea. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Tell me it doesn't exist, and I've just, re like, leaked the idea. Somebody's gonna steal it. This is so stupid. I guess they don't have it. Huh. They really should. <laughs> Bro. I really like that idea. You know, it would just be like a five, like a, like a, like a one octave keyboard image you know something like you know something like this something like super simple that would be cool very very niche but kind of cool Anyways, all right, 79% of you say waffles, and the other 21% are wrong. Simple as that. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> I, I press refresh, and it's already been patented, produced, distributed, and people have used it enough to have uploaded images. There are already reviews. There are already reviews. Uh, that's kind of a cool idea, but I don't know what goes into a waffle maker. Anyway, chat, I kind of want waffles too, but I did have waffles this morning. And I'll let you in on a secret. I'm going to have waffles tomorrow morning as well. I've been having waffles and like two eggs and a protein shake. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Beautiful. It's been beautiful. Put the hat on. I should. We are kind of cooking. Let me see. What, what can we actually cook with here?
try that. Have we ever done a have I ever done a loop of through the dunes? Oh, I gotta put the hat on. Let's see. How am I gonna put on the uh, I didn't think about this. I'll have to put it on like that. He has ears. Tall. Oh, we're gonna be cooking now. How's it look, chat? You like it? Not tall enough, huh? <laughs> Literally out of frame. Oh, there we. Oh, there we go. Oh man. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I should get like a little spatula in here because we're gonna cook. Let's cook.
cooked. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. How did that sound with the actual? Jeez. Oh, oh. That is a hot layer. Oops. That was a loop of an original of mine called Through the Dunes. I don't feel like grabbing the book. But anyway, that is track 11 on my Wanderlust Piano Collections. Please check it out. It's available in a bunch of places, including Amazon. You can also get it as a digital PDF if you are a Tier 2 member on my Patreon. Chip, chip, chip. Oh my goodness. I like that hat. <laughs> it was probably flopping around quite a bit, huh? That's how you know we're really cooking. Uh, new video on Saturday, yes. On the main channel. And for those of you who don't know, I have two other channels. A highlights channel and a VOD channel. Uh, so check those out. If you just can't wait for my bi-weekly, I guess. What, is bi-weekly every two weeks or is that twice a week? I always get that confused with bi-annually. But anyways, uh, check out the other two channels. There's a lot of content on both of them. Bi-weekly is twice a week. Oh, but somebody said bi-weekly is correct. There seems to be disagreement in the chat. Yeah, the Tedesco Archive channel is not even my channel. <laughs> All right, I'll leave chat to argue about whether bi-weekly means every two weeks or twice a week. What does Adam reply to? Let me see. <clears throat> Let me scroll up a little bit. I hope you enjoyed that chat. That was a, that was a blast. That was a blast. Um, 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 um. Tooth. Where did you? Scoo-doo-doo. Let me catch up with chat, chat. Y'all have been typing. Y'all have been typing. Uh, it's likely that you two are capable of doing this. It's a matter of how bad do you want a similar ability. Frank has been for 15 years seeing the tip of the iceberg of effort. For sure. Yeah. I mean, that goes for like any anything that anybody that you see online that's doing something like. You know, you're, you're seeing a lot of the culmination of their effort and stuff, so I, I wouldn't say that it's you just can't do it. But. 
Yeah. I don't know. It can, I, it certainly can be discouraging seeing, uh, people do stuff online. But, like, I'm just a normal guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just a normal guy who worked really hard. That's it. And had the foresight to get teachers to properly teach you how to, how to work hard. And how to, how to teach discipline and patience. But that's about it, you know? And just, just a stupid amount of practice, you know? I don't really like talking about it. I, I, I hate going on stream and being like, just talking about how hard I've worked. Cause it's, you know, but when people ask or talk about stuff like that, I feel inclined to bring that up. You know, we're talking like five to seven hour nights practicing piano, you know, like, uh, intentional practice with a metronome slowly practicing pieces, working on ear training, working on music theory, composing, things like that. No. So not as a way to discourage you, but just, as like a reality check that it's not like people just sit down and doobity boobity boobity boop. You know, I certainly didn't. I didn't start. I didn't touch a piano until I was 14. What advice would you give someone who's trying to get into pia uh, playing piano professionally? Give up. No. Get a good teacher. If you're taking it seriously, find a very good teacher. That would be my number one piece of advice. Frank is a man. This is true. This is true. I forgot about the command. Frank commands. Oh, Frank recommends. Step one, get a teacher. Step two, get good. Step three, stay out of my way. Yeah, if you get too good, then just stay out of my way. That's like rule number three. Maybe the most important rule of them all. Give up? No, 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 don't do that. Uh, my meal, my real, my meal name, my meal name is Franklin. You can call me that at the dinner table only. Uh, no, my real name is Frank. Uh, what makes a good teacher? It depends on what you're looking for. You know, like, what are you looking for with piano? Are you trying to play professionally? Are you trying to go classical route? Are you into jazz? Are you trying to compose? Are you trying to improvise? Those are things that you want to look for when you're vetting a teacher. I used to teach music, Zico, uh, piano lessons, but I don't do that anymore. Somehow I don't think I would ever even be close to your talent, Frank. No competition here. Oh, I, who knows? Who knows? Hard to say, right? You never know. You might surprise yourself. And also, it depends on what kind of teacher you like. Because a, a lot of people want a... Uh, not a coddling teacher, but somebody who's like rooting them on like, yes, this is very good. Very good. Paying more attention to what they did. Right. My teachers, my first two teachers for drums, because I took drum lessons from age seven to 13. Uh, and that guy was unbelievably just hard, hard on me. Very strict. And so was my main piano teacher when I first started playing from when I was 15 to 18. I had this Ukrainian concert pianist. And she was also very, I mean, these teachers just, they would always focus on what you need to do to improve, you know, which I liked. That's what I want in a teacher. So I, I learned that about myself at a very young age. I don't really want a teacher that like 
is just telling me I'm doing a good job. I would rather just like focus on what I need to do to get better and then I'll do the work and then I come in the next week and I'll play it. And then what's good. It's nice to get a good job. Now let's focus on the next thing. So that that's the kind of teacher that I really jive with. But some people aren't like that. So trying to figure out what kind of teacher works for you is also helpful. I do like beans. I'm a Pinto man. Nice, Horton. What a what a banger first message in the chat. Nice, nice. We got we got a funny chat today. Dang. <clears throat> Frank is telling us that he wants harsh criticism in the chat. <laughs> Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I never want that to sound discouraging or anything. You know, like I said, it's never my intention to, to talk about stuff like that because I, I just I practice like that because I love it. You know, I love it so much. But when when people when the topic comes up, I feel that it's important to to bring up that to bring up how much uh, really how much work it takes or at least in my case, I mean, maybe some people practice less, you know, who knows? I don't know. It's not even worth thinking about, like, whatever. It doesn't matter how much other people practice, you know, like, you have to focus on your own journey, as cliche as that sounds. No questions about any of my originals, huh? How much to shave you? I'll get right to the point. How much to shave your beard? Hundred bucks. Uh, each person has to find their own path, for sure. Absolutely, absolutely. Everyone has their own path. Gave up 10 years ago, only started trying to play this year. It's difficult. Yeah, how's it been going so far? Like, what's been difficult about it? Uh, let's see. Music will require thick skin. Not everyone will like your work, and there will always be someone better. There's always going to be someone better, for sure. Why would you want to be the best anyway? What fun is that? You're never going to be... No one's the best. There's always somebody better. It's almost liberating in a way. I don't, I don't know why anybody would want to be the very best. I would talk about being on the top of a mountain alone. My teacher used to hit my hands with a rubber mat. It's not like a cartoon when I made a mistake. And all my fingers were broken. I, I quitted. Hmm. A rubber mallet. That, that's a really funny idea. Starting to notice plateaus in my progress. Been thinking about getting a teacher. I think that'll be the quickest way to get over a plateau. Plateaus are sort of inevitable, but getting a capable teacher is the best way to get over those. To compose off feeling or purely music theory? Uh, a bit of both, amongst other things. Imagery what I had for lunch. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it doesn't, it's not really, you never really want to go into it comparing yourself to other people. Like, I guess you're going to compare yourself in some sense to what other people are doing if it's what you're trying to do. But, you know, you always want to try to use them as a reference and not compare yourself to them because it's just, it's not the same. There's too many variables in everyone's life. So it's not, it's like apples and oranges whenever you try to compare yourself to somebody. All it really does is just waste your time. Time that you could be spent practicing. Tend to compare yourself with people your age. Yeah, I wonder why we do that. I wonder why we do that. It's like, you know, you look at colleagues and friends and classmates and it's like, oh my gosh, they're doing so much more than me. And I would bet money that they think the same thing about everyone else. <laughs> Is memorizing all scales absolutely crucial? Depends what you're trying to do. If you're just trying to play for fun and have like have fun and learn some songs. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt to memorize all your scales. Scales are what make up the language of music. So if you learn the language, you'll be able to understand the things that you play on a much deeper level. And when you can do that, you can extract the information out of it and use that in your own music. It just gives you a deeper understanding of what you're playing. And from there, you can really start to find things. It's like, oh, wow, I really like a one, a major one going to a minor four. That's something that I really love. So I'm going to use that. And then you might hear that in other songs. And it's like, oh, I know what that is. It's a major one to minor four, you know? Only scales I know are on fish. Major one, major one. A demonstration. is a major one to minor four. All right, the stream can start. Dr. Nerf is here. Dr. Nerf is here. <clears throat> yeah, overall, I, I just, I would say, like, don't really worry too much about what other people are doing. It's just not, it doesn't do any good in my experience. It doesn't really do much good. Like I said, it's, it more wastes time than anything because you, you get in your own head and you're ending, you end up focusing on what other people are doing more than what you're doing. And that's kind of backwards, right? So if you want to compare yourself to someone, compare yourself to yourself. That's the only thing that makes sense. That's the real secret. And that's the way to boom. Try to be better than you were yesterday, last week, last month, last year. It's like racing your ghost in Mario Kart. 
Yeah, absolutely. That's a very good analogy. Um, sounds like we know not to compare, but how about strategies to block those thoughts out? Tips? Uh, just don't do it. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Just simply... Just simply don't. Five head? Uh, you know, it's a lot easier said than done. <laughs> but I think the more you drill it into your head, uh, the more it helps. Also, talking kindly to yourself is really helpful. You know, you have a voice in your head that's always like, you're doing this, but what about John? He might be doing more. Like, you know, that grind, that, uh, the grind culture of when you're sleeping, somebody else is working. You know, it's like, so I think part of it is trying to change that voice in your head to speak kindly to you and change that voice to have it tell you to just compare yourself to yourself instead of other people, you know? Yeah, I don't think that's really talked about enough because, you know, the, the, the problem is the way a lot of people talk to themselves very, very poorly in a way that they would never talk to somebody else. You know, I, I think we've all been guilty of that. You catch yourself talking to yourself and you're like, oh, my gosh, the, the way that I'm talking to myself, I would never say that to somebody else. The, the real problem with that is that you're the way that you talk to yourself is the way that you allow other people to talk to you, you know. And that's not good. So you need to you need to be kind to yourself and that sets standards for how you allow yourself to be treated. Thanks, Black Lotus. Thanks, Dave. Stay hydrated, chat, for sure. Uh, 50 to 70 percent of the population doesn't have an internal monologue. That That is pretty wild. Yeah, that, that seems very high. I would have guessed like 13 percent or something. Yeah, I think it's OK to like criticize yourself, but you just got to be careful with how often it is and with what you say to yourself. You know, like just constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough or that you'll never be as good as blank. It's like, stop doing that. Even if you lie at first, you know, just say, I can do that. I can do that. If I put in the work, I can do anything I want. And even if you don't believe it at first, like you drill that in enough and you will start to believe it. You have to put in the work, you know, that you, there's no way to like circumvent that. But sometimes you just start to tell yourself that you can do something or that you're capable of something. And that will. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You start to change your mindset to believe that. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm going to grow gills. I'm sure you can do it. It's the fake it till you make it for sure. <laughs> uh, you're a great musician and a good person. Oh, you're too kind. Frank Tedesco fan. Do you worry about the effect of constant praise? You seem to handle that well, too. Um, I appreciate the praise. It's all it's all very nice. I think I used to struggle with it more when I was a little bit younger. Um, but I, I found through a lot of work that I it's very dangerous to think that you deserve what you have or that you don't deserve it. And it took me a lot of years to think about that. It's like, you know, I don't want I don't want to think I deserve what I have and I don't want to think I don't deserve it. They're both dangerous paths, right? Because if you think you deserve what you have, 
or what you've built or what what's going on in your life. It's like then you run the risk of becoming egotistical and self-entitled um, or entitled. It's kind of redundant and repetitive. Um, and that's not good. But if you think you don't deserve it, then you're running the risk of feeling guilty or um, imposter syndrome. That's a big one. Right. So for me, I try to just it just is what it is. It just is what it is. I don't think I deserve what's been happening to me in my life, but I don't think I don't deserve it either. And I think that's an, a, an important. So I try to stay right in the center. It just it just is. I'm very grateful, but it's not going to change how hard I work or anything like that. It doesn't it doesn't matter in that regard, you know. So I think keeping that mindset um, helps me maintain a healthy balance uh, between the two and not let praise or anything like that get to my head. Just don't have anything. That's, that's the trick, man. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to be dismissive or egotistical. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's what I would recommend to trying to find. And, and that's something that I've been trying to I've been learning about that and sort of figuring that out for years, you know, but that is what that is where I'm at. That is where I'm at. Very thankful, proud of myself, proud of my hard work, very thankful to com for the community. Um, and, and that's it. And then I, I just continue to, to do what I love, you know, as someone who's very grateful, but. Uh, like I said, I don't feel deserving of it, but I don't feel not deserving of it. It's neither. I don't want to go down either. I think both of those paths are very dangerous. So it's just, no. It's a rigged game. I'm not playing that game. Uh, is it irritating when people call you like a genius or something? It seems like it would feel discrediting. No, no, I get that question more and more lately. People, you know, it's funny. I, I talked about this a few streams ago, but I see a lot of times in my comments um, or even like reaction videos to my stuff. Somebody will be like, you know, Frank is a genius or something like that. Um, or, or gift, gifted, talented, whatever, whatever it is. Like a very, very nice thing to say. And then it'd be like, view all 130 comments. And I'm like, oh God. And it's just this huge argument about what you're saying, like discrediting hard work and, and all this stuff. People get really heated about it, you know? I think it, it doesn't bother me because I'm, I, don't do, I don't do this for other people. It would be different if I was trying to like practice really hard because I needed approval, but I love, I've loved what I've been doing since nobody was watching me, you know? So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter in that regard. And I think people are really trying to be genuine about it. I think they're just trying to be nice and give a compliment. I don't, I don't think people are discrediting my hard work. And if they are, whatever, <laughs> I don't care. But again, that that is also why I like to bring up the uh, the type of work that it took for me to get to this level, you know. And it's a lifelong student thing, you know. I'm not, I'm just getting started. The more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. Right? It's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it has good intentions. I, I never get upset at that. I, I always say thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, 
The trick is you always want to remain humble. Has there ever been a time where you thought uh, you were better than someone else? Yeah, I'm better than everyone. All right, real quick, I want to catch up with chat. Um, we got Sh Shachapa coming in with the raid. This was an hour ago. How the heck did I miss this? Thank you very much for the raid. Smarticus gifting a sub. Thank you so much. We got, whoa, look out. I'm off. Thank you for the vibes as always, Frank. Yo, thank you for being here. You probably are gone by now. But I appreciate it. Dr. Nerf with the three months. Uh, sure, I'll be Ken. Appreciate that. Andy, gifting a sub, and Mr. Jace Wolf with the three months. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Uh, straight, straight curvy? Straight curvy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, people be trying to be uh, people should instead of trying to be a piano player look towards what a piano player does and practice doing that does that resonate with you the idea is instead of chasing a title doing the work people do with that title yeah I, I suppose I mean a piano player is just somebody who plays the piano that <laughs> sounded really profound but I basically just said nothing Yes, <laughs> put that on a shirt. A piano player is basically just somebody who plays piano. Boom. Mic drop. So there's, there's, that's my thought on that. Yeah, you never master music. No way. The knowledge is unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. That's just my wisdom coming out. Yeah, but I, I do think it can, it can be discouraging. I mean, let's be realistic. It can be discouraging to see people like online or at a show, people who are at like exceptional, people who are exceptional at, at their craft. Um, it's, it can be discouraging, but it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be discouraging because you, you always want to keep in mind how much work that those people put in and how much sacrifice, you know? Things like to be really exceptional at something it takes a tremendous amount of time and sacrifice. There's no way around that. And so I think people say it's like, oh, I wish I could do that. But you have to be careful because to if you really want to be able to do that, you'd have to know what goes goes into it. Right. Otherwise, it's just like, oh, I wish I could do that. But I also don't want to put in the 30 years of five hour days. But I just want to be able to do that. It's like, well, that's not really wanting to do it. You just want to have the result, you know? But yeah, every single person you see, with probably the incredibly rare exception, uh, has put in an unbelievable amount of time and has sacrificed a lot to be exceptional at their craft. More than most people are willing to put in. That's why they're exceptional at it. Otherwise, everybody would be exceptional at something. I think everybody can be exceptional at something, but um, most people aren't willing to put in the work and sacrifice. Uh, wanting to have the results without putting in the time 
is literally why I play video games, LOL. I got no patience to follow through or, or follow through. I, I think patience, we talk, I talk about patience a lot because that, that is a skill that you can develop. It's kind of like I, I clump it in with like, like patience, work ethic, discipline, delayed gratification, like all of that sort of stuff. If you can master that, I think you could, you just master, you win, you win. Those are incredible skills to develop. <laughs> Yingwei Malmstein. Yeah, that guy's insane. You're an exceptional procrastinator. You might, you could be the best. You could be the best one day. <laughs> My passions are mathematics and engineering. That's cool. That is really cool. I think everybody it, has a talent for something. Everybody. I think everybody has a talent for something. But most people don't find out what it is. Because it's hard. There are a lot of things. You look at people like the best curler, you know, the, the sport curling with the ice where you like chip away at it so the thing lands. How do, how do you find out that like you might be the next world class curler? And you might never know. And you might love it, too. That's the crazy thing. That's one of the most devastating things in the world to me is that is when people don't find something that they like and are good at because they don't try. They don't try a lot of things because it's overwhelming. So it's like, I'm just going to not try things because because I think it's a waste if I end up not liking it. But it's not. It's not at all. It's the very opposite, because the more things that you find out you don't like, it steers you in a direction towards something that you probably will like, you know? So that's a pretty important thing to understand. Trying things and not liking it is not a waste of time. It's useful. Try parachuting. Just parachuting? <laughs> Never tried playing piano until I was 15. And as soon as I tried it, I loved it. Yeah, similar with me. I, the first time I tried it was when I was 14. You might be the first person who can parachute without a parachute. Who knows? I wouldn't recommend trying, though. Um, this is long. Let me see if I can read this. I don't think the deserving, not deserving part has something has something to do with someone's talent or his craft because they put in the hard work to achieve that. Deserving and not deserving part is maybe, for example, the public recognition like YouTube. There are a lot of people that are super talented but aren't in the public spotlight. piano in your family uh no one in my family plays piano but my parents are musicians so that could be related <laughs> uh, those people who are naturally good at everything without even trying or practicing yeah i think some i think those people are good at learning good at learning you know um i i've been accused of that throughout life but I think it's not really that simple. It's it's more like the work ethic, you know, like an example is I, I remember when I was younger, maybe like I wasn't playing piano. Yet. So probably like 13 or so I was skateboarding a lot. I started skateboarding and uh, I would go out with friends and we all kind of started at the same time. And I remember when I would finish hanging out with my friends, I would go home and I would practice for like hours 
just hours alone in the street trying to learn, trying to land a kickflip, you know, literally for like three hours, just trying to land a kickflip, practicing, ollieing, um, pop shove it. I remember trying to learn. Um, and then, you know, as I would hang out with my friends more often, my skill level progressed very quicker comparatively. And, you know, that's when comments would be like, Frank, you seem like you're good at everything. I'm like, I'm really not. I'm really not. I think it's just what I was saying earlier. Like the things that I'm good at are discipline and work ethic and patience. All street. Yeah, I was all street. No, I, I wasn't going near vert. <laughs> but yeah, I think some things do come more naturally uh, to some people that like that's that can be true. I don't know why that is, but yeah, for sure. Like it could be certain things with like. Some people do better with things that are related to math if they're good at math or like um, uh, like for me, I, I tend to have an advantage at things with like hand eye coordination or memory. But not other things, you know, so I, I don't really know. I, I don't want to speak like I know why people have a natural inclination towards things. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Uh, if you excel in one area, you will not in another. We let, we tend to be pretty balanced out in the long run. If someone seems like they do everything well, they lack something. Yeah, for sure. No, no one's good at everything. <laughs> That'd be nice. <clears throat> but my point is that, like, you can, if you can learn how to be disciplined and and practice things you can get good at a lot of things that you otherwise might not be good at just because you don't have an immediate inclination towards something you know like i don't remember having i don't remember being particularly good at skateboarding i use that as an example uh because that's just one that i remember pretty vividly i don't remember being exceptional at that when i first started but i really liked it and I had already taken these drum lessons for so long. So I, I learned all I learned how to practice, like how to actually practice and be patient. And so I just did that. I applied that to skateboarding. I applied that to piano. I applied that to learning Japanese when I went to Japan. So I think maybe from the outside in, so somebody could look and be like, oh, well, they're, they're just good at everything. But it's like, no, they've sort of just gotten good at learning how to get good at things. Does that make sense? Yeah, just spitballing ideas. Mm, interesting, Mis Mr. Bag, Mr. Bag. Yeah, yeah. Any chance you get to take free lessons for music, definitely take that up. Any public speaking? Um, I haven't really thought too much about it. I don't know if I'd be any good. I feel like I'd have to have a topic to talk about. Who knows? Do, do, do. Any more music today? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, if you're looking for music, you might want to move on because I'm enjoying the chat. But I know there are a lot of... I would check out the music category, <laughs> which I'm in, so I should be playing music. But sometimes I just like to chat with y'all, you know?
Uh, I guess we should play some more piano, huh? Uh, Richie Darling, thank you very much for the $10. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm not doing song requests at the moment. We got Temper Tantrum. Thank you for the 10 months. I excel at being subscribed to Frank. <laughs> too kind, everyone. Too kind. Too kind. Uh, a skill I'd want to learn in the next seven years? I feel bad I told that person I wasn't playing music, so they probably left and I immediately started playing music. Whoops. It's getting cold in here. A sentence I thought I'd never say in my life. Uh, chat, that was some of uh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Yeah. Now I'll just start complaining that it's cold. Can you play a song? Jesus. What? Well, wait, that sounds... Uh Umbrella. Okay. I was like, but that sounds like something.
Um, I love to practice while watching you because it's fun trying to figure out what key you're in and try to improvise with you. That's cool. Well, I hope this uh, particular view is helpful. I know a lot of people have been really enjoying the keysight view, including myself. I love it. It's so nice. It's a cool view for when people have music theory questions. I can go here. It makes it a little more clear, you know. <laughs> Under my boss, Nova. 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 Uh, the newest thing for us is that the video is going to be re-uploaded on Saturday. So, new video coming this Saturday on the main channel. Also, I'll take this moment to tell you, chat. Um, if you don't know, I have three YouTube channels. I have my main channel. I have a highlights channel, which has a bunch of stuff from my Twitch streams, mostly loops. And I have a VOD channel, which is all of my Twitch streams archived on YouTube. Uh, so, if any of those are interesting to you, Please check them out. Please check them out. I know most of you here probably know about the main YouTube channel, but I think a lot of people don't know about the highlights channel. Uh, so please check that out. It's full of really long, intense loops, like the best of the best from Twitch. Highlights, if you will. Hence the name. Ah. So yeah, if you're interested in that, like if you if you enjoy the loops on the Omega videos, I think you'll really like the highlights channel because it's like full versions of loops, you know, not like two minutes because, you know, I'm battling against the attention span on Omega, so it's hard to actually get a loop in. But yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot, there are also on the highlights channel, there are a bunch of shorts uploaded. I think we're doing... What are we doing? Three or four, three to five days a week. I forget how many, but uh, lots of Omegle shorts uploaded on this channel. So, yeah. It's been cool. The channel's been doing really well this month. So, that's kind of exciting to see. The loops on Spotify? I'm not sure. I think I would do consolidated versions. I don't think I would upload full 22 minute loops, but maybe like edited down versions. I've done that before. I have two loop albums on Spotify from a couple years ago. So it's, there's, you could, there's a quality difference between, because I've just gotten better as I've looped a lot, you know? But I do have a couple albums on there. What did I name it? Probably something clever. Twitch Loops! My god, I'm a genius. And I'm humble. The most humble, maybe. Yeah, Twitch Loops Volume 1 and Volume 2. We'll eventually do more of those. I have so many loops now, but I'd have to... Uh, that, that would be some work. But it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I will put it on my ever-growing list. In my free time, yeah. Uh, is there a time for loops or does it happen on the go? Sometimes it just happens spontaneously. Like today's been a pretty all over the place stream, right? We did some piano stuff. We did some loops. Uh, we chatted about life. It's been a fun stream. Twitch loops sounds like a cursed cereal. I guess it does. Yeah, it would be like Twitch loops would be a cereal that it's all purple, all purple loops. And when you purchase it, you only get 50% of it. You only get half of the box and then Twitch will get the other half. Uh, did you get the whiteboard names filled out? Yo, I did. I did. Um, it's it's somewhere. It's somewhere. <laughs> uh, 
Harsh but fair, exactly. Chad, I gotta use the bathroom real quick. I will be back. We are not ending the stream yet. Uh, I'll leave you with uh, P song number two. I'll be back in a moment. Stretch your legs. All right, chat, I'm back. Um, I want somebody asked about the board. If you don't know, we did a charity stream on Friday for pancreatic cancer in North America. It was a six hour stream and you all raised over $10,000 for pancreatic cancer research. How incredible is that? So every single person who donated is on this board. Incredible. And what a fun stream it was, man. Did some wild stuff. That VOD, that video's on the VOD channel, so if you ever want to watch a six-hour video of me, uh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was so much fun. What, a, what an awesome day that was. I was so tired afterwards. I, like, I felt like right asleep afterwards. Twas fun. Oh, you got to the baby shark bit? Oh, cool. Yeah, the unmodding, which apparently I did incorrectly. I meant to, we, we did a, one of the goals, we set milestones throughout the stream. And one of them was if we hit a certain amount of money reached, we would fire a mod randomly using a wheel generator, which we did. And it landed on Mr. Woody, so I went to unmod him, but I forgot that he has an underscore under his name. He must have known that I'd forget that, so when he first made his account, he knew. Brilliant. That's that's like some chess. So he he never actually got unmodded, so I kind of scammed y'all. Apologies. Uh, how many fundraisers do you have? Uh, that was the first one I've ever done. 
Chemrox. I also got an email from them and they were just, they were blown away, which is cool. It's 4D chess. <laughs> yeah, I made sure to unmod him afterwards for sure. I'm a man of my word. Gosh, I almost forgot we had that insane $500 tip and 100 gifted subs from Math, who, who didn't even say anything in chat. <laughs> they just gifted and peaced. That's incredible. My God. I really shouldn't be drinking coffee at 8.49 p.m. But I'm an adult, as I've been told, so I can do what I want. Love that. Frank, as an adult, you can do what you want, but you have to pay taxes. Well, if I can do what I want, I'm not going to pay taxes. So there's the loophole. The IRS. Darn it. He's good.
Uh, that was some Kimi to Aki no Boken into Grey, both originals, uh, on both of which are on my first piano album, actually. Yo, Cloud, uh, what did that say? Cloud Chase, Cloud Chaser Gaming with the Raid. Yo, thank you so much for that. We got so many raids tonight. I'm very grateful. Thank you, everyone. Super kind, super kind. I hope you had a great stream. Also, chat, we passed 76,000 followers on Twitch tonight. Thank you very much for that. That's a very big number. That is a big number. Okay, wait, wait. I forgot what the last loop was. Through the dunes! I uh, hope everyone is having a good night. Well, I can't speak for everyone else, but I certainly am. Glad you had a good stream. That's kind of nice. Just a very chill anime-esque.
music in G minor. Oh, I really like that one a lot. Definitely a sucker for that type of harmony. I think I would want that for the highlights channel. I was like, I was gonna do percussion, but I was like, you know what? Nah, this should just be, this should just be a nice, relaxing one. We'll do some spiccato strings, but I really like that melody too. That's cool. A fun one. Where's that? That sub bass. Oh, we got the cello. I, you know, I kind of like the cello. I do have a, a good cello VST, but it eats up. It's such a huge VST that that would not be a good idea. And the cello on here is actually, when played against music, it's not too bad, especially if I drown it in reverb. Like, almost good. <laughs> what a testimonial. Yeah, the sounds on this thing, they're almost good. Jesus. Ooh, we have a contrabass pits. That's not too bad. Right? Not too shabby. Now the brass sounds like brass without the BR. Can't even do anything with that. Come on, man. This is French horn. Actually, that's not too horrible. Leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, this is this tab is called synth brass. This maybe this will be a Thank you. 
You like any of these, chat? Ooh, this is cool, polybrass. I'm more of a monobrass guy, um, because I don't like to share, but no judgment. Okay, I kind of like that, man. That could be, that could kind of be cool, huh? Um, I don't know if I'm going to go through with this. Thank you. 
Bro, that turned into something really cool. <laughs> something about pedal points are so fun. Oh man, I feel like I want that for the highlights channel too. That was a blast. It's 4.30 a.m. for you? My goodness. Hey, thanks for the claps, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you very much. Uh, Laura, thanks again for gifting the sub to Cloud Chaser Gaming. We also have uh, Flenishes. Uh, plen plenishes with the prime. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. I guess we should wrap up the stream soon, huh? It's been three and a half hours. That was the quickest three and a half hours ever, chat. I'm glad you all like. Oh, I deleted the loop already. Don't worry, it will be on the highlights channel, which, by the way, please subscribe to the highlights channel. Mmm. Yummy coffee. Just enough for me to complain about not being able to sleep tonight. Oh my god, we got another raid! Dude! Uh, Human Juke 81 coming in with the raid. Thank you so much. Wow, I can't believe all the raids we've gotten tonight. I really appreciate it, everyone. Thanks a lot, Human Juke. I, I don't think I've seen you around before. Uh, welcome, welcome. What do you do? Are you a music person as well? A human, oh, he is a human jukebox. Oh, that's awesome. Happy to have you here. Thank you so much. I uh, love the setup and lurked a lot. Uh, I am also a keyboardist, but uh, nowhere your chops. Dude, that's awesome. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Uh, what do you play on? What kind of keyboard? I, you probably have to raid and run, but I appreciate you uh, sending your folks over here. That's very kind of you. Bottom. I appreciate that, everyone. Oh. Yeah, good to have you here. Uh, well, welcome to the stream, everyone. My name is Frank Tedesco. Frank like the hot dog, if you can't remember that. That's how I introduce myself sometimes. Anyways, uh, I do stuff on YouTube under the same name, Frank Tedesco. I go on a website called Omegle. I talk to strangers. I ask them to give me their favorite song, and I try to listen to it on my phone once and play it by ear. It's a fun time, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, uh, please check out the channel. It'd mean a lot to me. But, before I promote myself, well, too late, right? Let's play some piano. Yo, thank you, Human Juke. Uh, I don't know if you know Two Xanarkin, but I would love to play some of that for you. Too late. <laughs> My hands are moving.
Uh, that was some two Xanarkand from Final Fantasy X. Ah, I love seeing people argue about, or not argue, but speak about my hair. A lot of time in the sun. Little trick for you dark blondes out there. Get some lemon juice. Throw that in your hair. Um, and lighten that up. Although I spend a lot of time outside. But no, not dyed. Uh, yeah, the latest video is going to be re-uploaded on Saturday. The old lemon juice trick, yeah. I used to do it a lot when I was a kid. Um, but I spent so much time, I didn't expect it to lighten up this much, but I like it. It reminds me of being, uh, when I was younger. It's cool. Oh, that was a weird sound. Thanks for all the gifted subs, everyone. Got Laura, Mikey B gifting a sub, and Cloud Chaser Gaming. Very kind of you all. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ugh. We really should wrap up soon, chat. Today was supposed to be like a two hour stream. And here we are, three hours and 36 minutes in. Um, by the way, for anybody here who uses Discord, please join my Discord. We have an awesome community. We're coming up on, well, getting close to 5,000 members, which is a lot of people. It's a lot of people. So please join. Um, this is the best place if you're interested in getting updates on my content and when I go live and stuff. Uh, I have a channel for my YouTube uploads when I go live on Twitch. I have a weekly stream schedule, so if you want to catch me next, join the Discord and you will see my schedule. It changes each week. This week, my next stream will be on Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Check it out, please. So many nice people in there. Every time I lurk and just hop in there are always so many conversations going on it's actually kind of strange having a discord this big because there are just always so many conversations going on pretty wild yo thank you cloud chaser you too yeah 4 p.m specific time johnny bravo he <laughs> caught that yeah Can't see, yeah, can't keep some of y'all quiet. It's mainly the mods. Mainly the mods. I think we need to have mod mods. People that are like super mods or hyper mods that can mod the mods. Pinecone, you're in. That's all we need, just pinecone. <laughs> you too, Smarticus. You can mod pinecone. We'll have a hierarchy here. Perfect. Oh. Infinite mods, I know, right? Uh, and I think that is it in terms of updates on my end chat. The next stream is Friday at 4 p.m. Pacific. A uh, new video coming out on Saturday on the main channel. Uh, it's a re-upload of a video that was blocked last week, but a lot of people hadn't seen it because it got blocked pretty quickly. So it's like new, but if you've seen it, uh, please give it a watch again and help it out. That mean a lot to me. I released a new video on my highlights channel today and might release another one tomorrow. I'm not sure. And then I have a VOD channel for those of you who are into watching full streams. Basically, all of my streams on Twitch are archived on this YouTube channel, cleverly titled Frank Tedesco VODs. So if you ever want to rewatch something, this is the place to do it. Ugh. 
But with that said, chat, I do think it's time for us to call it. All good things must come to an end. And the stream is no exception. But don't worry, I will be live again Friday. Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific is the next stream. Yeah, please join the Discord. Please, please, please. We are going to wrap up, though, chat. Uh, please show some love to the mods. We have a mod love emote. So please give some of that in the chat for them. It keeps them coming back, you know. Uh, okay, we are going to raid. Oh, there are a lot of people on right now. Whoa. Uh, why don't we raid? Let's raid Mia. I think it's been a little while since we've raided Mia. Mia Metz music. This is like my favorite song in the world right now. So good. All right, we're going to raid Mia Metz, everyone. If you don't know, a fantastic pianist here on Twitch.tv. Um, a pianist whose posture rivals my own which I'm happy to say. It's always good seeing somebody else. Look at that posture. That is just beautiful. Beautiful to see. Reminder to sit up straight, chat. You look like a shrimp. All right, let's do it. Thank you all for being here. Um, copy this. This is our raid call. We are the Tedes crew. Whether you like it or not, you're part of it. Because I am. I have no choice. Thanks for being here, everyone. Oh, I also, one quick last shout out to, I mean, everyone who donated and rated and subscribed and followed, but just another special shout out to uh, Math. That's me. I don't even think they spoke in the chat, um, but they came in today, gifted 100 subs, dropped a $500 donation, and just dipped. So if you ever see this, thank you very much again. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that one last time. Uh, all right, chat, we're going to raid Mia. I will see you all on Friday, 4 p.m. PST. Hope to see you there. Uh, let's see. Awesome. Yeah, hope to see you there. If I don't, then I hate you. Have a good one.